These are two different versions made by Klein Tools. One is an NCVT-3 and the other is a Dash 3P. The Dash 3P is my preferred voltage tester and that's because I've actually gotten in trouble in the past using this one. The big difference between these two, turn them on here, you'll see is the Dash 3P has a green indicator light, which is a much stronger indicator that you have battery and your voltage tester is looking for voltage. This one actually can be a little confusing if your batteries are low and they actually die. Well, maybe you set it down, you pick it back up, you go to test voltage at the conductor, your batteries actually might have died and your voltage tester is no longer working. When the batteries are dead and it's not working, it looks a lot like not detecting voltage. So there can be some confusion there and that's why I don't use this unit anymore. Now I could have avoided the situation by using best practices when it comes to using non-contact voltage testers. The best practice is always to test on a known circuit confirming that your voltage tester picks up voltage, then test on the circuit within question, confirming you do not have voltage and it's safe to work on that circuit, and then go back to that known circuit that's on, confirming that you're picking up voltage. So then you have two validation points, one at the start and one at the end, and a test point in the middle, knowing that your voltage tester is working correctly, so you're confident that you can work on that circuit.